Hey guys, it's Leon here. Welcome to my first tutorial ever on how to use your power supply unit without a motherboard or a case or anything. This video comes as a response to a request or questions about these lights over there and if you saw my last video of my room tour, you probably saw these lights before. If you didn't, you're more than welcome to go watch it. But I get this question, Leon, what are those lights you're using? Because they're not LEDs. Well, they are called, called, cathodes. They're called cathodes lights. Uh, well, as you see, they're in my PC and they are meant to be connected to a power supply unit. But over there, of course, I don't have a whole PC connected to them. So, let's say you have a fan or a light or anything else that you want to use outside your PC. As we all know, if you take that fan, for instance, connect it to the power supply unit and turn it on, nothing will happen. In order for it to work, we have to do some wire connecting. Uh, you take this bar, which is called the ATX, which meant to be connected to the motherboard. You take that green wire, you connect it to any black wire, and the power supply unit will work. Alright, but before we start messing around, safety first. Make sure your power supply unit is off and take it out of the wall to make sure there is no electricity in it. If you don't have that button, don't worry about it, just take it out of the wall. And kids, I know you're smart and you know what you're doing, but have an adult with you while doing it or near you. Alright, so this is exactly what you need to do to get your power supply unit to work. The easiest way is to get a paper clip, bend it, you get the ADX part, which is this part, and you see the green wire right here, right? And there are some black wires next to it. You get your uh, paper clip, so you put one end in the green one and one end in the black one, and then you might wanna cover the wire, uh, the pin, cover the paper clip, and cover everything, um, and that's it. So this is the first myth, or uh, this is what you can do. If you turn on the power supply unit right now, it would work. But I don't really like this because this is not safe at all. Having this paper clip or pin or whatever you use, it's just not stable and you might touch it or anything, but you can just cut those wires. So you cut the green, which the green one is just saying power on. So you cut it. I'm just gonna cut the black one next to it. The black ones are for ground, so now you have two wires right there, right? Um, take a bit of that cover off, just take off that cover right there, and connect those two. Uh, you can, after connect, connecting them, you can uh, solder them, you can just connect them in whatever way you want. I'm just gonna connect them like that. You can take it a step further and open up your power supply unit and connect them inside of there. And then cut off all the other cables that you don't need. So let's go ahead and test this. This should work. Let's do it. So here you go. I'm gonna connect my. Power supply unit right there. The fan is connected, and I'm just gonna turn it on, and uh, hopefully it's gonna work. So here you go. It works right now, and that's what you need to do. All right, this was it for this tutorial. I hope you found it very helpful. If you have any questions, any comments, any thoughts, any requests. Write them in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Go check out my other videos on my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. 
I've been Leon, and see you in the next video.